வெல்கம் டு எல்எம்எஸ் சொல்யூஷன் பேசிக் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் அ டிசைன் ஆஃப் பக் கன்வெர்டர் இன் மேட்லாப் ஸோ த பக் கன்வெர்டர் யூஸ் டு ஃபார் ஸ்டெப் டவுன் த வோல்டேஜ் ஆஃப் டிசி ஃப்ரம் ஹை லெவல் டு லோ லெவல் ரைட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் த வோல்டேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்புட் டிசி இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் வோல்ட் but we need a, a 12 volt in the load side okay so then we can use this buck converter to step down the voltage from 24 volt to 12 volt dc so we can we can call this buck converter also known as dc a transform step down transformer okay so how we are going to design this buck converter in matlab so in order to design a buck converter normally you can see that the this and the main structure of buck converter is like this so we need to use a switch and then here we need to use a diode and here we need to connect inductor and then here we need to connect capacitor and so finally so this is going to be load okay so l c and then switch and this is diode and then this is source voltage and then this is load okay so here we need to design this uh, buck converter for particular power rating and particular voltage uh, rating in the input and output side okay so we need to design this buck converter uh, the main design uh, that mean is depends upon the selection of that mean uh, it should be selection of this switch the selection of diode and selection of l and c okay so the selection of switch and uh, diode is selected based upon that uh, power rating voltage and uh, load voltage detail and same way we have to design the value of lnc so lnc going back to see a low pass filter so to filter out the the ripples in the output voltage okay so for that we have the equation design equation for example Uh, i'm going to design the uh, that mean uh, we have input voltage 70 volt and i'm going to design the output should i need 50 volt <coughs> and then i need to design the uh, the current maximum current at the output end is 90 amps okay so so for that i'm going to first you have to write the equation for power right so just you go to type p equal to 50 into 19 so 19 nothing but this a maximum current is taken from the load okay maximum allowable load okay and then here you need to type input voltage and then one important thing is we have to select that when you have to fix the, the switching frequency for the switch right power electronic switch so here we are going to fix the the switching frequency is 10 kilohertz and then what's the output voltage requirement so output voltage requirement is 50 volt so here you have to fix 50 volt okay so these are basic things we have to we have to provide initially okay and then you have to calculate you have to calculate the diode max by using this formula that mean power divided by v of so already we know that the maximum current here is 90 amps and then you have to provide two more uh, detail nothing but the ripple inductor current and ripple capacitor voltage that mean so what's the ripple inductor current in the inductor okay and then what is the ripple voltage in this capacitor okay 
so that going to be decided based upon two things so one is iot max so iot max used to for uh, fixing the the ripple inductor current and then output voltage going to be used to for fix the ripple capacitor voltage so you have to take some percentage okay uh, that mean here i'm going to take one percentage of the iot max and then one percentage of the v out okay so next you have to calculate l value that means this l, l, l value so for calculating l value so this is standard equation for calculating the del value v out into v n minus v out divided by del i l into f first v n so next you have to calculate c value so this is standard formula for calculating c value for a converter so del i l divided by 8 into f first into del v out okay and then you have to calculate the the resistance the minimum resistance required for loading the converter that means uh, how much a load we have to apply that means here you can see that so the maximum current rating for load will be 19 amps and then output voltage will be 50 so based upon we can calculate the r value so r value here v out divided by out max so we will get the the minimum resistance we need to not operate the bucket water at a rated condition okay and this is used to for calculating the duty cycle of the system okay so these are the equation used to for calculating the the value of l and c and load resistance and the duty cycle so just i'm going to simulate this one so here you will see that we will get the l c r and duty cycle okay so now i'm going to start implementing this buck converter in matlab so for that i need dc voltage source <coughs> so here i'm going to use a dc voltage source and then we need a switch so here i'm going to take igbt a diode and then we need diode so i'm going to use this diode and just i'm going to rotate this one I'm going to connect this. I'm going to connect <coughs> this. Okay. So next we need inductor. So for that I'm going to use series RLC branch. So I'm going to connect this one here. And we need capacitor also. So I'm going to copy that same block. I'm going to connect like this. And also we need load, right? So I'm going to copy the same block and then I'm going to connect like this so now you change this branch type to l and then you can copy this one and paste it here okay and then change this branch type to c and copy this c value and then paste here and then so here you have to change the branch type is R and then paste here okay and then here you need to provide input voltage is 70 volt okay so next next thing we need to provide pedal uh, pulse for this IGBT so for that just you have to type pedal generator here you can select pedal generator DC to DC and then you have to connect here so input for that pedalium generator we can use constant block and connect this one and then select this QT cycle okay so next to process we need to measure the the source voltage and current and then load voltage and current so for that I'm going to use voltage measurement block okay for measuring the input voltage and also used for measuring the load voltage so 
next time I am going to use current measurement so machining the input current and measuring the output current and then I am going to use scope so here we are measuring the input voltage and the output voltage and here we are measuring the input current and the output current ok and also we are going to measure the power so for that I am going to use product so here we are measuring the input power here we are measuring the output power so this is for voltage measurement so this is for current measurement and this is for power measurement Okay, so next I am going to simulate the model and then you have to check the input voltage and load voltage, input current and load current and then you have to check the input power and the load power. Now I am going to simulate this model. So here you can see that you, you will see this error because we are using uh, power electronics and the power system components. Okay. So in order to run this simulation we need power gi ok just go to place this power gi in this ok then only it will be executed so now i am going to run this simulation So here you can see that so this is uh, input voltage so this is output voltage so this is input current the blue color is input current yellow is sorry blue color is output current yellow is uh, input current and then this is input power this is output power so we need to find out the actual uh, power detail actual current and power detail so for that I am going to use uh, main and then I am going to connect here and then now we can see the actual current exactly for input and output so now we can see that the input voltage is 70 output voltage is 50 because we designed for a getting 50 volt okay <coughs> so this is you can see that this is the input current so input current is around uh, 11 or 12 amps right but output current you can see that we are getting around more than 11 amps because the voltage will be decreasing that's why the <coughs> current will be increasing so like as transformer action okay so here you can see that we have both are having equal uh, power level right so because we designed for uh, that mean uh, here that ideal condition right uh, it will simulation is operated ideal condition so that's why the both input and output power are equal okay if suppose i'm going to change the load okay so here I am going to change the load to 50 percent. So we will check the, the detail of voltage, current and power. So now we can see that I change the load voltage into 50 percent. So here you can see that we have input voltage 50 and sorry 70 and the output voltage is 50. But you can see that reduction in the current. Okay. 
so current will be reduct, uh, reduct by the two times right and also you can see the power also reduce okay so depend depends upon that uh, load values it will be uh, change the current and the power of the buckle mount okay but you cannot uh, increase the load beyond that uh, that means you cannot uh, reduce the load here is less than 2.63 because this model is designed for only uh, 90 amps at the load side okay so you cannot reduce this r value is less than 2.63 so this is the, the minimum resistance for the rate load condition okay so this is the operation of the buck converter or design of buck converter in the matlab okay thank you thank you for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you so much bye bye